Yo, bro, how are those hash browns going? Well, you know, they're going okay, but as soon as I shred them, they turn this gross brown color. Yeah, that's from the uh, enzymatic browning. Oh, so is that like what causes the browning in bread and pretzels? No, that's the Maillard browning. Oh, really? Well, what, what's, what's the difference? Oh, here, come with me to the whiteboard, I'll show you. Alright, so in order for the Maillard reaction to occur, you need a reducing sugar, a non-ionized amine group, and heat. Hmm, well, what's the reducing sugar? Good question, let me show you. Okay. Here we have drawings of sucrose and glucose. Oh no, not chemistry. Oh, it's not that complicated. When the number one carbon of glucose, there's an OH group that is free to react. This makes glucose a reducing sugar. Sucrose, on the other hand, is non-reducing. The reactive OH group on the glucose has already reacted with the fructose, forming a larger molecule. What was that other thing you mentioned? The amine group? Yeah, what's that? Amine groups are found on amino acids. They react with the reducing sugars I already showed you. Here's a non-ionized amine group and a glucose molecule. When exposed to heat, the two groups can come together and form amidori products. This reaction is a condensation reaction, which means water is produced as a byproduct. The amidori product then continues to degrade into brownish pigments that give bread and pretzels their color. Or potatoes their nasty color. No, that's enzymatic browning. Here, let me show you another way. Let's make some cookies with the sugars I already showed you. Sucrose and glucose. Sweet! Time for some bro bacon! Yeah. <laughs> to demonstrate the mallard reaction, we're going to make sugar cookies using two different recipes. One with a reducing sugar, and the other with a non-reducing sugar. Each recipe will contain a cup of flour and a half a teaspoon of baking powder, a sugar, this one will contain glucose, a reducing sugar, this one will contain sucrose, a non-reducing sugar, one egg, one-third a cup of butter, and finally, one tablespoon of milk. Let's get this started. Now that we form the cookies, we're going to throw them in the oven and bake them at 375. The heat of the oven will drive the Maillard reaction. Oh uh, yeah, look how wet those are. Well, your glucose. Oh yeah, look at these cookies made with glucose. They're much browner. I guess it's from that Maillard reaction. Here, taste the cookie. Aren't they delicious? Delicious? No, they're... Bro-licious. <laughs> <laughs>